New at 6, the best burglar alarm can't keep your home safe from this menace. Roof rats. They work at night and they can creep into your undetected uh, yard until they cause you thousands of dollars in damage. ABC 15's Melissa Blasius is live at a community meeting in Ahwatukee where complaints are surging. Melissa? Yeah, that's right. Neighbors getting advice from an expert and sharing their own stories about where to buy rat zappers and what to bait their cages with. Some use peanuts, some use dog food. It's all about helping each other to end the infestation. This little doggy sounded the alarm that she was not alone in this backyard in Ahwatukee's Lakewood neighborhood. I guess Yorkies look Love to hunt rats, and if it wasn't for her barking and letting us know, we would have never even knew it. Several subdivisions in Ahwatukee are being overrun with vermin invaders. Angela Hart says they've caught at least 20 in their yard. I'm from Iowa, and I wanted to say it's a mouse, but they're very, very big with long tails. Roof rat experts say a wet winter gave the critters plenty to eat and drink. They worry about a population explosion starting now. So when you have one pregnant female, producing anywhere from six to 11 pups, you're gonna have a lot of rats. Citrus trees usually considered the number one food source. We actually cut one down and the rest of them, the minute we get oranges on there, you need to get rid of all your oranges, make sure that they, they're not on the ground because the rats love to eat that. Experts say homeowners need to keep yards cleaned up and attics sealed up to keep the rats from making your home their home. Well, they'll chew up wiring, uh, tear insulation off, do all kind of damage in your attic. It's spreading the word and letting everyone know that we've got to do something about it. A hole just this big, that is all you need for a roof rat to get into your attic and live there, which is why the expert here says, number one, make sure your house is sealed up. Number two, make sure your trees are cut away from your home, from the buildings, so the rats can't climb up there. In Ahwatukee, Melissa Blasius, ABC 15, Arizona. Okay.